Hello and welcome back. Earlier today, I caught up with my good friend, Abby Moore, who is the queen of a cappella here in Nottingham. And we talked about how she goes about making her fabulous split screen or multi-screen music videos. So I'm going to cut to that interview now. And then at the end, I will do a quick recap of the software and hardware that she uses to create those fabulous videos. So hello everybody. Today I am welcoming Abby Moore to my channel. Now Abby Moore is someone I met a while ago um, when she was teaching songwriting here in Nottingham and so I first knew her as a singer-songwriter. I've seen her perform a few times and over lock time she's been doing some live Facebook live sessions, playing her guitar and so on. So that's one hat that Abby wears, but she is a musician with multiple hats. And in this video, we are going to talk a bit about how she creates her split scene videos. So Abby, do you want to just tell me a bit about your a cappella work before we uh, yeah. Yeah, uh, nice get to into meet, it? Nice to see you, Jane. Yeah. Hi, to be here. hi. Um, yeah, uh, so I, I, I kind of, uh, within all the a cappella choir leading I do in the singing workshops and arranging, um, I really enjoy making split screen videos of all the different parts um, of the choir. And, and it's me doing all the different parts, but it, it's also a sort of teaching tool. Um, people can just enjoy it for what it is. But for those people that are in my choirs or my workshops and want to learn the arrangement, um, I also kind of, once I've made the split screen video, I can also make video tutorials for each different section in yeah. the choir as well. Um, well, I've got I... personal experience of that because one of your um, ventures at the moment that you've been doing this year online, well, actually, you've been doing a blended learning experience with um, live and Zoom at the same time, which I think has yeah. been amazing, is you have been running Totally Vocally and various other a cappella workshops where you've got your split screen videos that people can watch. And also, you, like you say, you split the parts out and then you can get people to come together and actually work on the arrangements with each other. And you have just launched a new Facebook page page haven't you to cover all this yes. acapella work that you're doing it's acapella yeah. with abby that's it yeah so, so yeah. definitely anyone who doesn't know abby yet just should definitely check that out because there's so much on there i mean you you sell your arrangements you obviously have all these workshops i think do you, do you still do teaching as well do you do one-to-one -one yeah. teaching yeah I, I did knock it on the head a few years ago but i've, I've sort of brought it back out of the woodwork because i had lots of people asking and previous to lockdown i didn't really have the time to do it but obviously now i've got a little bit more time on my hand so um so I'm able to kind of do online teaching as brilliant. well. brilliant yeah. so so there's lots of ways to connect with you and I noticed that um if people do connect with your Facebook page then every 50th person might win a free uh they will go they will win a free workshop <laughs> shop place which would be great I yeah. mean I, I just can vouch that your workshops are fantastic they're just Thank a great you. experience they've been brilliant in lockdown it's been so nice to be able to connect with somebody and actually feel like you're part of a group because yeah. um yeah. I think this is very difficult, but yeah, going back to your split screen videos, I thought a lot of people on my channel who are really interested in home recording and getting themselves, you know, onto their computers might be interested in doing these split screen videos. It's certainly something I'm interested in having a go at, but I, mm. I think, oh, like, where, where would I start? Where would I start? I, I know I want to do it, but what, what's the first thing I need to do? So I think we'll, we'll talk through that. I think it's the ideal pandemic project, shall we say, because you only need yourself exactly. and, and a few bits of equipment. So <laughs> that I think- part uh, of the reason I did them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I suppose the one positive this year, one of the few, very, very few positives is that people have had a bit more time for creative and to actually do things that they always said they'd do in the future and actually now is the time there's nothing else to do so there's no exactly. excuse and just so finding yeah a way to communicate in this bizarre new world <laughs> yeah yeah so brilliant and in fact it's quite ironic because here we are sitting talking to each other on zoom and we only live about three miles apart from each other so this is this is the new normal <laughs> let's get used to it so yeah. um what i thought we'd start with is what can you just give us a bit of a run through of the hardware and software that you are using? Um, yeah, um, so for audio, I use Reaper. Um, it's a really inexpensive and very, very good program. Um, okay. It does actually way more than I actually need it for. Um, so uh, it takes a little bit of, it's a bit of faff getting to yeah. know it in terms yeah. of its, inter um, what's the word? Is it interface? Yeah, I, I know what you mean. I've used you know Reaper. I mean. There's a lot there. And I, I <laughs> yeah. Do, yeah. 
But yeah. if you say so you just want to do multi tracks, that's it's the idea. Yeah. So I tend to because I, I I use this microphone that I'm using now, which is by Neumann TLM one hundred and three, which <gasps> I've had for about ten years now. Which is like an absolute classic. It um, is large it is. diaphragm condenser. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. You, the, I mean, you don't need to spend that much on a microphone. It's just that I use this for everything. So I made that investment a long time ago because yeah. I record all my albums with it and everything. So, um, so I have the mic, which is fab. Um, yeah. And um, yeah, I mean, it, I, I'm only recording vocals. So obviously, depending on what other people are using, whether they're using instruments or whatever, um, this is a, I, I can always recommend this as a vocal mic. It's absolutely amazing. But um, yeah, it, it, sounds, it actually sounds records nice. anything. I've recorded saxophones on this and drums and guitars and everything. So it's a really good all rounder. Brilliant. So but if you were looking for one mic... That yeah. sort of mic oh, is definitely, yeah. definitely, yeah. But, but it is expensive, and you don't really yeah. need to spend all that much if you if you don't want to. No. Um, and so I I record all my uh, audio tracks into Reaper, um, and obviously do all the mixing and leveling and everything. And and so I f- personally, for me, when I'm doing all my vocal a cappella stuff, I'll record the the soprano, alto, tenor, and bass part. Uh, sometimes there are more than four parts. Sometimes there's only three. It's all dependent on the song. Um, and again, depending on the song, because I've got a lots of material that I have already arranged and recorded all the audio out already in order for my choirs to learn them. Uh, if it's a song that I've already done, I will then record a video where I'm basically just miming to the okay. audio part. Yeah. So I just set, I literally, I'm just using my, my, it's an old iPhone as well. It's a, a, an iPhone 6S. So it's not even that amazing. And in, in fact, I am considering getting a really good one now because my video work has, has you video everything on your old iPhone 6. Wow. Wow. That's good. That's amazing. So so somebody, (laughs) so you don't need to make a really high quality video. You just need a good a reasonable quality smartphone yeah, you have I to mean, be the best that's it I, like I said I, I don't really I don't think I ever really set out to to be a a video like a YouTuber or anything like that no was, uh, I was literally just doing it for my own fun and for my choirs uh, to to learn um so I I kind of didn't really consider my phone but it's so obviously it's so easy to use um <laughs> and I set it up I've got a, a ring I can actually show you this oh yeah oh you've got one of those ring lights yeah. okay so I set my phone up inside. Oh, right. Clever. There. Okay. Very um, good. I can't get it out of the way now. Sorry. It's just no, it's fine. We, yeah, it reminds us what you... <laughs> um, yeah, so I, put, I sit my phone inside the, um, the little kind of uh-huh. holder here and just press record and then yeah. I, I so as I said if it's an old song that I've already arranged all the um, audio to I just I simply sing along with it and then I put everything into my computer and then I use Final Cut Pro uh, to do all the editing okay. of the video okay and generally I will knock out all the, the live sound that I do I said I'm mine but actually I do tend to sing along with it because it's just I, yeah I, it, it probably looks more again. natural and yeah. it looks more natural definitely. yeah but what um, you're singing is not what you're he- we're here yeah, we're hearing depends. your pre-recorded track it's, yeah sometimes the live singing is better than the audio recording <laughs> was like oh wow that was great i'll keep that okay <laughs> um okay. but most of the time i know that the the audio files are pretty accurate so yeah, i'll just yeah. and i've already pre pre-mixed them so it, it doesn't make sense to add any more work no, to that no. so, so when um, you re- when you record your first track are you have you got a click track going on, on yeah there? so uh, again on reaper i will set up a click track um, yeah. in the first place uh, before I start recording so that all the parts are obviously in time with each okay. other. Um, and then I can just mute that um, and take it out. So you're just left with the, the three or four The three voices. parts or four parts right. or however. Yeah, okay. So, and then you're playing it um, sort of yeah, sorry, on some device. Play, that you can... That's right. I play <clears throat> it on, uh, very, very quietly in the background enough for me to sing along with. But as I right. said, I, I tend to remove all that audio anyway when it comes to editing the video. And I underlay the um, the mixed audio underneath all the videos obviously sync them all up um and get rid of all the the live sound that i did so it's just left with what i pre-recorded okay so just, cool just, when i do new songs that i haven't previously arranged and uh recorded audio for i do sometimes just do it live and hope that i can get it in a take or two really uh yeah it's a bit of a risk and and i i wouldn't advise that for anyone wanting to do it quickly <laughs> <laughs> um because yeah it's you know sometimes you think oh yeah I know this really well and then as soon as you start singing like damn it I missed that word and and you can't you can't disguise getting the words wrong because your mouth is you know doing something different so um brilliant yeah 
Okay, so we've talked a bit about your mic. I presume, I mean, you can't connect that straight up to your computer, so you are running it through some kind of interface. I am, you... yes. Um, I have a Focusrite Scarlet 2i2. Oh, right, um, nice. It's Again, it's quite basic into well I yeah. say it's basic not in the in the street usage of that word <laughs> uh, but it's in terms of it just being two it's just two inputs so it's got yeah. um you know can either put two uh, mics or two instruments into it yeah um and that's it really um yeah. it's nothing particularly fancy um it's got a obviously a monitor um volume button for your speakers or you can use your headphones um and i i actually downgraded strangely enough my interface over lockdown um i think when march came round and i just i did a bit of a stock take of everything i've got for all my different music projects and live and recorded and and i'm actually getting a bit like overwhelmed with having too much stuff or that's actually a really interesting a, point yeah mm. Yeah, yeah, sometimes just, simpler is better. And it, yeah, it can be yeah. such a barrier if you buy something too complicated. You can't, Definitely. you know, whereas if you've yeah. got a simple two-channel interface, good mic, yeah. you've got a pet pop filter there. Do you always use a I pop have. filter? Yeah, um, yeah, it, it does It does make a difference for sure. Um, yeah. So I, I kind of tend to keep that on if I want any sort of level of quality. Okay. Because um, it's just, it's too hard to sort of edit out those plosive P sounds. Um, so I just don't, you know, it's prevention is better than cure, as it were. So really, it's quite a straightforward setup. Mic, interface, record into Reaper, um, mime, and film on your iPhone with your little light ring. And then you've just got to kind of like marry the two things up in Final Cut Pro. And I guess That's that it. is probably the thing that takes a lot, yes. quite a lot of time. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it does. That's another thing. I'm like, oh, it'll just take, take me a couple of hours. Yeah, yeah. Video <laughs> Five editing. hours later, I'm still like, click, I know. click, 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 click. You know, yeah. like up at the screen like this with your eyes like tiny. And yeah, I think my eyesight's yeah. got really bad since lockdown because I'm I doing know. so much editing. Yeah. Um, but, but yeah, I think the end of the day, I, I I enjoy it. I again, if I think back to when I was thinking of becoming a musician, I had no idea how much time I would spend doing other things for the music. Yeah. So I I had no idea I would be building websites and designing logos and no. editing videos together. You know, no. it's not something I ever had any experience in. But no. it's all stuff that you kind of learn along the way because yeah. Yeah. you either have to find the money to pay somebody to do it for yeah. you or you do or you it do yourself everything and... yourself. Yes. I know the feeling. Yeah. <laughs> Are you naturally techie or have you just or is this uh, a barrier? I don't know. I think I think other people think I'm naturally techie. Uh, but I've just it really, honestly, very much. I've just, you know, when I started singing, I had to learn how to use a PA system, you know, so I, I learned how to use mixing desks and speakers. Yeah. And then, yeah. you know, I started recording and I had to learn about the difference between recording microphones and live microphones and, yeah. you know, the difference between yeah. this interface and that, you know, it's, I, I don't consider myself naturally techie, no. um, but I do have a lot of technology. Well, I suppose what happens, <laughs> yeah, everything, every time you do something, you learn something, don't you? And yeah. it gradually builds into a body of experience. And so I suppose some things that seem really hard the first time you do them just yeah. become second nature so that's it yeah. there's hope for us all this the other thing to take into account as well actually it's quite quite important is lighting i had no idea how much lighting would affect the look of your video at the end of the day um, and I, I had been relying quite a lot on natural lighting because um, i have a lot of windows and yeah. i tend to i actually tend to record my videos over there Oh yeah, I can that see white that white gap. Really, yes. um, and I, you can see I've got curtains drawn here, but this yeah. is a big patio window and it throws right. a lot of natural light into the room. So that that patio light against a white background is great at certain times of yes. day. However, if I start my video too late and the sun starts to move, oh, all the videos look changes, completely different it? to each yeah. other, which is so annoying. Yeah. Um, and then you're, yeah. depending on what camera you're using, as I said, I'm, I'm not using anything special. I'm using my old phone it adjusts you know it has kind yeah. of light balancing things it adjusts yeah. itself without you touching it so it's and, and it just comes out all the videos completely different and yeah so that's annoying yeah, so I would, I would say if you're going to set a day aside 
Yeah. Do it when, you know, you know the sun's going to be in relatively the same position. Yeah, you know, or flat than... light, maybe a bit cloudy so that there yeah, isn't this. That's exactly I mean, the right. clouds going in, the sun going in and out of clouds is a really bad one because it just yeah. like suddenly you're illuminated. And yeah. <laughs> you didn't want to be. I did some video tutorials for my choir um, and a thunderstorm happened in the middle and it went from <laughs> bright to so dark you could hardly see my oh, face. Gosh. I thought, I'm oh, just well. going to have to stop and relight this. Um, so, yeah, lighting is something that I'm... Um, I'm I'm trying to kind of learn a little bit more about my my boyfriend actually yeah. has been sort of saying you know he's he he's really into photography so visual stuff is his thing and you know he's been yeah. sort of telling me a lot about lighting and um it's something I need to really learn yeah. about to make my videos better quality I think but I do quite like the way you have these little um characters who play the different parts with the different <laughs> scarf arrangements and things so that's yeah, quite a yeah, clever yeah. little device and it's very simple but it, it sort yeah, of yeah well yeah. I just thought because I, for, for all the purposes of my choir singers who are trying to learn these songs on a weekly basis yeah they once they've learnt it they kind of like to use the split screen to pick their part out and sing along with yeah. it but if there's and no I've differentiation between yeah between the different parts then they kind of who's who who's, where's the tenor one, part who's, you know who's the tenor? Yes. Um, so yeah, yeah. so just so you lock I'll, on to the one with the yeah. uh, the bow in the yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, Very good. That I think actually the one you're talking about is the one day like this video yeah. where I've got a red ribbon, a red bow, and I've tied it in different places. Yeah, but it's very clever. I generally it's... try and wear a different coloured t-shirt. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I, I actually did start matching them to my choir parts. So um, oh. our choir uniforms, you see. So my sopranos wear uh, pink, my basses are oh, red, my tenors are blue, okay. and my uh, altos are purple. So um, so that I started doing that. And then it just, and I just thought, well, I might as well just do this for every video. The other the other danger, I suppose, is, is that all your videos start to look the same if you keep doing that. So I'm, I'm going to get a new, like a really sort of, high res camera phone yeah um, and I am sort of thinking about my next batch of split screens to just do them slightly different now I've got a different yeah. logo and new website and new information yeah. and stuff um so I'm, I should look yeah. forward to seeing those having a thing yeah. what I can do that's different I think I think it, it's yeah that sounds good that sounds good I must ask do you ever use um pitch adjustment because there's quite a big range between, so you can just yeah. sing all those parts. Well, I'm I have got impressed. quite a big range. Um, yeah. There is a there's a couple of bass parts that go so low it's almost inaudible for me. <laughs> um, but uh, no, on the whole, I um, no, I don't. I I have for some of the arrangements where the bass part does go super low, I have started now asking a, a man to come and sing it. Yeah. Um, but obviously I can't do that in lockdown either. So no. um, sometimes I send send the part out to a, a trusted male singer that, that's pretty accurate. Yeah. Um, yeah. And But but I've never done that for my split screens, actually. Everything you've heard on my split yeah, screens is has, you. has been me. You, pure um, and adulterated you, not yeah. pitch adjusted, auto-tuned or anything no. like that. It's just you. No, you. and, and, and the, I could... <laughs> I could do that if I wanted to be really to me I feel like I want stuff to sound natural I, yeah. I think there's a lot of uh, I, I'm being careful not to step on people's toes here but I, I see some of these acapella videos that come from, generally from America they're so perfect yeah that you, they don't sound human in, no in they're not authentic opinion. sometimes are they? I just feel like it's computers yeah. it's just you yeah. know you almost can't hear any difference between any of the voices or what yeah. you know any different tones or anything like that and I, I kind of when I went into this I thought I, I, I love the dedication that they've got and the commitment but I don't want to sound like a robot you know I, no, I want no. it to sound natural yeah um, and so I kind of just I just sing and I think like it, this will be what it will be and yeah. if I'm a tiny bit flat somewhere then so be it you know yeah. I, um, I, I like the natural me. Anyway, I think I've got the gist of what to do. I feel inspired to go and have a go. And if I, yeah. I would say that if anyone else has a go after watching this, we should we, please share. We would like yeah, to see. Definitely. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, so thanks very much for talking to me about that. Really That's interesting. Okay, no and um, before you go, there's another hat that we must mention here. Um, there is an official list, I believe, of the sexiest people from oh Lincolnshire. <laughs> <laughs> and you, Abby Moore, are on that list. <laughs> what number was I? <laughs> I can't remember, but there were some big That's names so on there. Funny. Robert That's Webb, so Sheridan Smith, <laughs> Emma Thompson, Jim Broadbent and Abby Moore. I didn't even know there were that many people from Lincolnshire. No, I didn't. 
And that's, do you know what the funniest thing about it is? Uh, I didn't know that they'd done that at the time. I'd ne- I never heard about it until this year. I, and it was years ago. And, and <laughs> was it? I, I don't know, it just that. came, someone sent it to me. I remember you I posting remember. it and I think yeah. that is so brilliant. <laughs> Isn't that hilarious? <laughs> Definitely. Anyway, well, thanks very much now. for talking to me. It's been an absolute pleasure. I shall look forward to chatting to you. Oh, well, I shall see you on Saturday at your yeah, next you workshop. Will. Yeah, brilliant. Thanks. Take care. So I'm going to start again with who are you? Brilliant. <laughs> okay. I'll tell you what, I'll, uh, yeah, okay, right. <laughs> 96. We're going to have some outtakes on this, aren't we? <laughs> okay, so that was Abby Moore. Now, if we quickly have a run through of the equipment that she uses, she starts by recording the audio and she has a really good quality large diaphragm condenser microphone, which is a Neumann TLM 103. Now, that is a classic mic. If that is outside your budget, you could look at something like the Audio Technica AT2020 or similar. She's then running that microphone through a basic but good quality audio interface. So she's got the Focusrite Scarlett Studio 2i2. That is a nice quality interface that has got two microphone inputs with built-in preamps so you can get a good quality signal from a microphone into your recording software. For her recording software, she's using Reaper. Now Reaper is another interesting choice. It's not the most expensive recording software. It's really well featured. And the nice thing about Reaper as well is that you can get quite a long trial of it so you can try it out and see if it's the right recording software for you. So once she's got all her multi-track recordings made, she's ready to make the video. And surprise, surprise, she's making her videos with an old iPhone 6. So it just shows you don't need a super expensive camera if you've got a reasonable quality smartphone. What's very clever is the way she sets it up on that tripod with a lighting ring. So she's getting the best quality that she can with that iPhone. So that's how she makes the videos. She's obviously miming along or singing along to the different tracks. So she's creating multiple videos, which she then assembles in the video editing software, in her case, Final Cut Pro. You can do similar things with iMovie. You don't need the most well-featured video editing software to, to make simple split screen videos because all video editing software allows you the ability to multi-layer videos and crop them or shrink them and line them up in a grid. If you've got any comments or questions, do post them below. I'd love to read them all. Do find Abby Moore's Facebook page, which I will link to below, so you can follow all her acapella adventures. If you want to see her lovely split screen videos, then subscribe to her channel. If you want to get more of my home recording studio tips and tricks, then do subscribe to my channel. Please give the video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it. That would really help me out. And I look forward to seeing you next time.